The title of this podcast is I'm Here to Serve. One of the things that really keeps me uh, on the path, and when I say the path of constant personal development and growth and working on myself, one of the things that helps me do that is having a, a, a theme or an intention or that reminds me of what I'm really up to. And this particular thing of me saying that I am here to serve, it really makes my, it stops my ego in its tracks. When I see my ego, what my mind has to say about whatever is going on or whatever my heart is feeling about it, all of that is halted so that I can get back to like what, what I really want. And what I really want is to uh, feel good all the time. And I understand that one of the barriers to feeling good is what my mind and heart have to say about it when I don't get what my ego wants. And so when I'm at Mayo Clinic, uh, for example, and I'm working and I'm giving a task that I feel or my mind feels, uh, it's not my job. I remind myself, the minute that I feel myself bothered, I remember I said, I'm here to serve. I don't care how it looks. A new manager gets involved. Uh, they tell me, like, we know we told you that this is your job, but you're going to be doing something differently. Um, I remember I'm here to serve. I get an opportunity at Mayo Clinic to do a lot of amazing things and fun things to do, fun things. I do presentations all over the hospital, throughout the enterprise, which is really phenomenal. I get to work on some really innovative projects to help uh, our colleagues in our community. Uh, one of the projects uh, is to really to reduce the health disparities between people from different populations. Really exciting work that I think will make a difference to giving people access to high quality care, like at a place like Mayo Clinic. I get to do fun things like that all the time. Along the way, I'll be asked to do something else, you know, take notes here or send this email out or follow up on these things that don't seem to fit into what my job title or this ele or, or all the other things that are more high profile. But um, but I've learned to become okay with whatever is asked of me. And the moment that I feel that I lose sight of that, like I can't believe they're asking me to do this. Well, why would they ask me to do this? Or who, who are they to ask me to do this? I come back to, I'm here to serve. I'm here to serve. That happened when I was volunteering, when I was working and they let me go during the pandemic. I came back to I want to serve. And so I started volunteering there. Outside of work, this is also applicable. I do it with my with my friends, whether I'm on the court uh, playing a sports sports with them. And, you know, one of us is not having the best outing. I try to remind myself that my job is to be encouraging to my partner to, to give feedback if they're open to it, uh, but to really be a good teammate. That's what I really want to be because I'm here to serve. Uh, every space I go into, I want to make it uh, a little bit better than it was or contribute to it being as good as it was when I walked in by bringing in that kind of attitude of service. Oftentimes people will ask like how we want to create a sense of belonging in this group or this department. And, uh, you know, the, the department or the organization isn't doing that for people. They only have belonging for one people that come from one group. And what I say to that is, is like in the face of you feeling like your department isn't doing uh, more to create a sense of belonging, which may or may not be true, uh, but let's say it is true, then what can you do? Anything that you can do is to give to serve. I feel welcome in every space that I go into. And 
that wasn't always the case. It all changed when I said to myself, how can I serve? Or I'm here to serve. When I say that, remember that everything changes. There's no job too big, too small for me to do. I can do it all. And, uh, and I'm grateful for the opportunity to, uh, to contribute in that way. And, uh, and I hope that you will be too. So think about the, the actions or deeds, uh, that you're asked to do, uh, that hit your stuff that trigger you, whether it's your spouse asking you to do something, uh, and part of that because they didn't plan well, or you have to like take your child somewhere that was unexpected. What if you said to yourself, I know the role that I'm playing right now is as a parent or as a spouse or a significant other, but when it's all said and done, I'm here to serve. So as I do this favor for my spouse, am I doing it with a heart that is oriented toward service. When I have to take my child somewhere, like the dentist office, because they keep getting cavities or whatever the case may be, and this has been like the tenth time of going to the dentist in the last six months. Remember, you're here to serve, and when you do that, that transforms that road trip to the dentist. It becomes an opportunity for you to connect deeper with your child in a way that you otherwise wouldn't have done. So I invite all of you that when you get in trouble and you're asked to do something or you have to do something that you don't wanna do, remember that it's less about the deed, but how you're doing it. And if you can anchor yourself with this idea of, I'm here to serve, life gets a whole lot easier and much better. Thank you.